Hey guys, long time no see. Uh, no, we got a great video today. Just past Sans GFAC, also known as Sec something something. <laughs> but we're gonna keep this video short. Um, wanna be respectful of your time. Yeah, Sec 275. So GFAC is an introductory Sans course. Um, just a disclaimer, I won this um, during a Black Girls Hack Scholarship many months ago and I just completed it. So the course itself is really good. I don't have access anymore since it expired today. Yes, today was the last day I had access and had to take the exam. I've been prolonged, pro, sorry, prolonging it for four months. Not because I was like slothful, it's because I was busy. You know, I'm working all these other gigs. I'm in school for software engineering. A lot of stuff on my plate. And speaking of that, check this out guys. <laughs> you can't make this up. I actually just passed. <laughs> Introduction to IT is a four credit course at WGU today Right after the GFAC so and I was studying it for it before the GFAC check this out and the GFAC You can see it right here. I took it the same day. Let me actually go to the summer. Oops Let's see No, it's giving me the wrong page, but I took the GFAC on the same day Let's see right there November 5th So I took both exams on the same day, but I, I was studying for the WGU exam earlier, but Aside from that, just wanted to show you that I'm extremely busy. Uh, let me just give you some tips regarding the GFAC. Again, I don't have access to the course anymore. I only went through 31%, so I didn't even complete the whole course. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I just didn't have time. I didn't have time to bother going through the whole course. Now, you may be wondering, how did I pass? Now, um, the book. So I have three of the books. Though I read all books completely, front to back, I read them. I, I'm, a, I'm an avid reader, I'm not the best. But I'm an avid reader and um, the knowledge really stuck with me. Now, index. Let's talk about index. All right, so this is my index. It has up to 400 plus entries. All right. And I can keep scrolling, scrolling. Um, this one stops at 364 because I made a mistake, which I want to show you the great mistake. So if I go to my version history, which I'll show you this right here. Uh, I'm going to go to my version history. Oh, no, nope, I don't want to save that. Version history, see version history. Let me just show you the mistake I made and I walked in to the exam. So if I click this right here, um, this was the version I came into the exam with. All right, I think this one's at 400. Yeah, this one's at 409. So I came into the exam with this. So you may be wondering, okay, what's the difference? Look at this one. Motherboard, central piece, RAM, computer memory, type C. Okay, it looks right. Let me go to the one I came into the with the exam. They don't line up. Why? Because I switched this to alphabetical order, but I didn't format the rest to follow. So I came into the exam with a wrong index. Look at this bit, that Boolean logic. I thought that was true or false. What, huh? I, this is how I walked into the exam with this index. Guys, you don't know how I was so mad. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. I spent hours making this index and this crap happens. But this is how I pass. So how I pass, pretty much, uh, the books. Sans is open books. So what I really did, I had to flip through the, <laughs> the table of contents super fast just to answer some of the questions. Actually, if not most of the questions. I was using the books in a table of contents. I would have scored higher. I probably could have aced it if my index worked. But I'm surprised I even passed. Flipping through the, <laughs> the book uh, throughout the exam. It took me an hour and a half. All right, I left the exam with like 20 minutes left. I was just so done because I had the WGU exam scheduled right after. I'm like, you know, let me just finish this. If I fell, I fell. I don't care anymore. And I ended up passing, which was interesting. So that's that. So just to give you tips, um, make an index. All right, first column, uh, name. Second column is description or term. Second column, description. Four, uh, third column, page. And in fourth column, book. I there's three books that come with the GFAC, um, and I did an index for all three books. So actually, I'm gonna throw in a clip. I'm gonna throw in a video on how my index actually looks. In the flesh, it looks super clean, but it's wrong. Everything's wrong. Um, so I didn't use the Voltaire method, which is a popular one. I won't go into that. You can research that on your own. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much it. So yeah, just do your index. And you don't even have to go to the course to be completely honest with you. You don't even have to have an index. If you can flip past, past you know, if you're good at reading books and you can flip past pages, you can pass that as well. But I don't, I recommend actually going in prepared. So do your index, 
read your book. If you could throw in a course, go for it. Another thing, um, I'm gonna show you guys. I didn't even do the practice exams. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I'm telling you this was a back burner, this was a, I wasn't even worried about this course. Hence why I scheduled, I had to take the test on the final day. So I'm giving these away for free. Um, all you have to do, you don't have to sell your soul or anything. All you have to do is like the video, comment. You don't even have to subscribe. I don't care if you subscribe. I'm here to give you guys information so you could have a fruitful career. So all you gotta do is like the video and leave a comment. I don't care what comment is. And um, I'll circle back, let's say in a couple, I don't really care about this anymore. I'll circle back within a couple days and just pick two people who commented and just give you guys, I'll message you guys and we'll go from there and I'll share this, the exam with you. Um, so yeah, that's that. So that's pretty much everything on my end. Um, yeah, that's GFAC, pretty cool SANS course. Uh, the price I think is around three grand for the course. The cert itself is like 500. So again, I did not pay for it. This was through scholarship. Um, and yeah, I have two more sand certs to take. I'll make sure this time, 2024, I am prepared, better prepared. But guys, that's it. That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and good luck. You guys take care, peace.